More aftershocks in two countries today from what just might be the biggest sports trade of all time. The Edmonton Oilers sent hockey superstar and Canadian national hero Wayne Gretzky to the Los Angeles Kings, a lifestyle away. While Gretzky insists it was his idea, Bob McNamara discovered in Edmonton that many Canadians aren't buying that story. Gretzky gone, the city of champions today felt a loser. I think it's the pits. Personally, I think he's kind of a traitor leaving the city after we've brought him up from nothing. It's my 22nd wedding anniversary today, and then a catastrophe like this. It's just unbelievable. I'm really shook up. I could stand here and cry. The National Hockey League's eight-time most valuable player, its seven-time leading scorer, and captain of a team that won four Stanley Cup titles in five years, Gretzky was almost as much a Canadian national icon as the Mountie. I'm not a real hockey fan, but... He's part of us. The Americans seem to buy a lot of Canadian national treasures, and it looks like they just bought another one. In Los Angeles last night, Gretzky again tried to explain the trade. We're uh, expecting to uh, have a, a new member in our family in the new year, and um, I just felt that it was the best thing for Wayne Gretzky and my family at this time. The greatest hockey player ever leaving to join a team guilty of whipping its fans into a stupor? The all-Canadian boy stuck in a city where ice is still what chills margaritas? We're going to put 4,000 more people in the seats per game, half of them to see Gretzky and half of them to see if his wife Janet Jones shows up. And here, many say Gretzky's wife's career is to blame. Uh, I think he's being steered by someone that's um, sort of dominant. That blonde Jezebel? That charlatan from L.A.? I that so. Mickey Mouse... Two bed actress. Married three weeks ago to American actress Janet Jones, the lavish event was Canada's answer to a royal wedding. And though Jones' film roles have been limited mostly to cheesecake and lately an exercise video, she faces the unwanted role as the Grinch who stole Gretzky. Maybe he, in his heart, he was doing something for me, and, and I'm sure it was, he was thinking about me too, so. It's hard to play hockey with a heartbreak now that Edmonton's idol is gone. I think Edmonton may go down the drain. The Journal with Bill Cameron and Paul Griffin. Good evening, or is it? Since last night, Canada has searched for a villain. The team's owner denies engineering the trade, and the wife does too. Whoever it was, Canadians say that the man who rewrote hockey's history just finished the saddest chapter of all. Bob McNamara, CBS News, Edmonton.